Right. Okay. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, feet height or heel height setting up in the boat. Typically, um, the easiest way to measure this is to take a straight edge across the boat, above the heels, measure down to the heels, then take the straight edge to the seat, measure to the lowest point of the seat, subtract one from the other, and that will give you the, the heel height below the lowest point of the seat. The lowest point of the seat is generally the area where the coccyx bone sits, and as long as you uh, work to the same point the whole time, then that, that'll be accurate to know. Um, the reason why it's important to get seat heights, uh, sorry, uh, heel heights right, is the biomechanical positioning or setup of the athlete. Typically, if the feet are too low, there's a tendency to fall over the front of the, of the catch. Typically, um, if the feet are too high, then the athlete is too restricted, can't always get forward, tending to a lower short stroke. Typical range in most clubs would be something like uh, 14 to 18, um, but we see ranges as far as away from 12 centimetres to 22 for the tallest athletes. Um, one of the problems that uh, clubs always run into is when they're mixing uh, male and female athletes that are tall and small, um, where they've got big size shoes um, and the small feet. There's no working range for that athlete, so they tend to be biomechanically in a poor position. Um, typically with low, le low heels, for a short-legged person, they, they end up getting slide bite, um, which is not a comfortable thing. So it's comfort and biomechanical efficiency is the reason why we like to change the, the uh, heel height. Two minutes of 